Hey guys, last year and welcome to another Minecraft how-to guide here on the channel. I figured since I can't touch or spawn at the moment since it's updating, I might as well do a how-to guide on something very vanilla, something very topical. And that would be how to change versions in the newest launcher. Actually, the launcher had an update today, so ooh, what could that mean? But uh, I'm going to explain to you guys quickly how you can change versions, create versions, and how it can work with modded as well. So if you guys have been enjoying the how-to guides on the channel, definitely smash that like button to show your support. And let's get right into this. So, uh, yeah, you might notice I'm not a full screen, obviously, because I can't full screen this, unfortunately, because it's the launcher, not the game itself. But to touch anything in this game, you'll always notice, well, I think you'll start off with this one, the latest release version. That's how Minecraft starts you off with. So right now we're 1.16.1. But let's say you wanted to have a modded version. So you would go to installations right here. You would click new. You would name it whatever you want to name it. You'd click the little image, change it to whatever you'd want. You'd switch the latest release. Now, I'm going to show you guys just for the modded sense since I do do modded. If you have a Forge installed, you would click this. But let's say hypothetically you wanted to play 1.0. You'd click that um, and then you can click more options as well just to change these things. If you guys want a separate video of me explaining what to do with these JVM arguments, this is essentially how you control if your game lags or not or if it can handle a lot of mods. But um, that's not what we're talking about right now. Everything should be fine. Um, if you set it to auto, auto screen resolution, you shouldn't need to worry about any of these things. But if you do want to change that, you can. Um, and pretty much once you have your version set, you just click create. And it will create a separate world or a separate uh, version right there. Now, how you can access that is you go back to play. Right down here at the bottom left, you click this arrow and it should appear right there to go into 1.0. So you click play and it should theoretically launch Minecraft in version 1.0, the original version of Minecraft. So just bear with it for a moment. It'll launch the version. Ignore my Star Wars background and all my folders. Um, but as you can see, it has launched the game um right here and this is version 1.0 so that's pretty cool now again let's just say you wanted to switch versions again you would close out of that launch minecraft again it should bring you up to this screen once more and if you want to delete um this version right here all you have to do is uh essentially go to installations click this button right here click delete and it will delete that version for you and you don't have to worry about it. Um, word of advice though when using multiple versions of Minecraft. Keep in mind that I would recommend only having one modded installed at once. So one Forge. So either 1.15, 16, whatever you have your Forge for. Don't install multiple versions of Forge unless it's the same version of Minecraft. Because that's where the corruption can happen. Also I would also stick to one vanilla on each save file of, of a .minecraft. So you don't again, cause corruption. I mean, I know I just installed a 1.0, but I didn't really touch anything with it, so it should be fine. But I'm just talking about my experiences in the past. If you want to gamble with it, you can. But yeah, as you can see, I have a 1.6.1 version installed and my, I don't know why it's called Mod Battle, but this is my Mod Showcase Minecraft, so I use this to do my Mod Showcases. But yeah, as you can see, that's the Forge 1.15.2, 31.1.0. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else to go over. If you you guys know how you can change your skin and stuff, I'm assuming. Um, if there's anything you would like me to answer any questions about this in the comment section, I will try my best to. But again, I wanted to do a how-to guide today just for something easy and for anyone curious. Because occasionally I do get people asking, how do you switch versions of Minecraft without, like, you know, deleting everything? That is an option. That's actually personally what I do when I need to switch versions of Minecraft. But... That's pretty much the quick and easy way to change versions of Minecraft with the launcher. And like I said, the launcher did just update today. Personally, I like keeping it on the latest release just so I know anytime a new version of Minecraft comes out, I always check that. But that is going to do for this quick video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, remember, smash that like button, share your support, comment down below any other guides you would like me to make on how to. Keep in mind, I'm not going to touch or spawn for a few weeks just solely because... There's a chance it might be updating since though anything I could make a guide on possibly might not be accurate anymore. But again, thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button, share your support, subscribe if you're new, click that notification bell to be notified anytime I upload a video. And also follow me on Twitter at ultraunion 17 to also stay notified when I post videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.